I first heard about 30 East Drive in Pantafrac through YouTuber Shadow Man. It's said to be haunted by a somewhat evil entity named Fred or the Black Monk. Many have explored the haunted location in the UK, and here's some of the best captures in this home. The first short one comes from YouTuber Thomas Matthew, who captured a door closing. That's it, that's it. Push the door, yeah. Well done. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This next video is even creepier. JDH Spooks Paranormal captured a mysterious hand. It's not your left hand. It's not your left hand. It's there. This video from Christopher Chell shows a paranormal device rolling off of a chair. Yeah. Hey, so we've got a cat ball on the chair. No one's in the room. You suddenly get your light up. We're all off. We've been sat on that chair for a good while, but nothing should affect it. Purple Bee Paranormal recorded this video where the broken radio suddenly revives itself. With the radio. It's the radio, come here. Give me the radio, don't work. He's bloody singing to himself. But this last clip tops them all. Lee Brady shares this footage that was filmed by the property's cleaner, Dara B. I have just seen some. I have just seen some. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. This piece of evidence really hit it home for me. I'm entirely convinced that 30 East Drive is 100% haunted. And if this is the ghost known as Fred, I don't want to know. I think it's time to get the heck out of there. A YouTuber named Braveburn is by himself checking out an old abandoned house rotting in the forest. Behind a creepy mold-covered door and down some old wooden steps, he finds a basement that looks far from safe. He pokes around downstairs for less than a minute before he finds a false sense of wall that leads to a lonesome hidden room. Soon he comes across a bunch of miscellaneous extension cords tangled together on a broken bench. Why anyone would need that much power to this tiny room is anyone's guess. It's almost like someone was being kept down here, possibly against their will. Braveburn shines a flashlight down a narrow square hole and chances upon a tuft of golden straw-like material. I'm really hoping that this is insulation and not human hair. He quickly leaves without checking, so I guess we'll never find out. There's definitely something going down in YouTuber J Reacts House. Published in September of 2021, the first of his clips is security footage taken from several rooms inside the home. The footage was filmed at around 2.30 in the morning. In the first room, something hanging on the door moves slightly without any explanation, but it's what happens in the bedroom at the end that is giving me chills. A shadow moves beyond the door to the left. You can see something come into view in the hallway, darkening the crack in the doorway while everyone is sleeping. Jay posts another clip in October of 2021, captured in the same bedroom around 5 o'clock in the evening. Jay explains, while my girlfriend was sleeping, she said she heard me whisper something that made her wake up. You can see her eyes open, but Jay didn't say anything. Someone did though. When he Enhance the audio. This is what he heard. Jay thinks the whispers are ordering him to check his phone. It's not clear if he heard them in the moment and in turn looked at his phone or if perhaps the whisper infiltrated his subconscious. Whatever happened, the whisper woke up his wife in the process. The final clip, also taken in the bedroom, shows what Jay thinks is an orb. Watch closely. The orb flies toward the butterfly on the dresser and then disappears. It then comes out under the butterfly. Do you think there's something concerning going on in Jay's home? If so, I hope for their sake that it's a good energy. If you've ever had something in your home act out of character, then you might feel Alex Huff's pain. The TikToker appears to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial when her wardrobe starts to creak open. I use the Milani 05 Soleil. 
So I'm gonna try that on and And then suddenly slams shut and bursts open again. The room's light above goes out and then, as she's peering into the wardrobe, that light falls dim as well. Alex posted a second video showing that no one is inside or outside the wardrobe and yet it's creaking again. In the third video, she's getting her room sage to get rid of whatever evil entity lies within. Burning sage is said to provide a spiritual cleansing for the home. Hopefully it did rid of the bad energy and Alex can go back to doing her makeup tutorials in peace. Based on the events happening here though, I wouldn't be surprised if that house is legitimately haunted. Smallmouth Crush is making a fishing video on the Potomac River near Washington DC. He's drifting by when further down the riverbank something strange catches his eye. A head is sticking out of the water, long black hair. Her back is to him. He looks at the head for a long time, unable to mentally process what he's seeing and not sure what to do. He gives the object a poke just to make sure it is what he fears. It has a face and it is exactly what he's afraid of. I think we are all thinking it's the same thing, especially from this distance. But when he pokes at it some more, an artificial neck joint pops free from the mud. This is a mannequin head, not a real one. Dude, what is happening? Look at this thing. This is nasty. Not finding a body is a relief, I suppose, but it also begs the question as to why anyone would take a blindfolded mannequin head out into the woods in the first place. I've heard of people simulating their demented desires onto mannequins before moving on to the real thing as part of their transformation into a full-blown psycho. There's a lot of creepy people out there, I guess. And to further prove my point, he looks up to find something even more sickening nearby. Look at that freaky thing. I'm out of here. It looks like somebody has been using this spot to do some pretty twisted fantasizing. And as he speeds away, I can't help but wonder what if that's not a doll? Is this the world's angriest poltergeist? Published by Paranoiacs in December of 2021. When the crew arrives at this place in the mountains, they quickly discover they're not alone. They enter the building and hear more and more banging noises. When the camera turns toward the door, a pale face can be seen briefly peering around it. More banging erupts upstairs. And it sounds like things are being thrown down to prevent the crew from coming up. They head back outside and the banging continues. This has sent one of the crew into hysterical laughter. You <laughs> then the door bursts open. Back inside, things are still being thrown around. They head back to the stairs and finally venture upstairs, despite the poltergeist not letting up. Back on the ground floor, a large iron pole is thrown. And what sounds like footsteps are heard above them. When they make it to the top, they probably wish that they hadn't. <laughs> After more torment from the poltergeist, something again peers around the corner. Is this what's causing all the mayhem? If so, the power coming from this small figure is terrifying. When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure?
most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. A YouTuber named Deep South Bama with Mr. Tom wakes up at 3 a.m. after in his words, he heard some deep thuds around his house. When he goes outside, he sees strange activity around the flagpole in his local graveyard. These bouncing balls of light streak across the sky without a sound or any clue as to what they are. Sometimes they are dim and sometimes they are much brighter. Somebody said that they could be bats, but I noticed the lights always seem to stay at about the height of a person. It can't be flashlights because they keep going out after a second. It's impossible to tell what it is from this distance distance, and I don't think he wants to get any closer. A customer reaches for a drink when he begins to shake and sputter out of control. It looks like it could be a seizure, but he does not fall down right away, so some people say it's a possession. At the 48 second mark, he points to something only he can see and begins shrieking in horror. This is when he goes down a second time and does not come back up. <laughs> One minute and five seconds into the video, you can see a ghostly figure in the reflection to his left that could be the spirit of his aggressor. Paper towels fly to the ground on their own shortly after in a further indication of paranormal possession. The demon that possessed this girl may have been exercised, but it never left this place. YouTube channel Chamos investigates this abandoned house in which a girl underwent her exorcism. This is what happened. First, the presentation. Oh, oh. Why is the demon presenting this terrifying toy doll? It also moves a chair. <laughs> A moment later, the baby crib is gone. <laughs> Things keep moving. Notice the sound, you'll soon see what it is. Later, as they're getting a reading on their K2, something even creepier unfolds. <laughs> Was that doll floating, descending, or is it ascending to new heights? No matter what the answer is, I'd be getting the heck out of this place ASAP. What secrets does this witch's cemetery hold? Dennis of YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to find out. He first comes across this disturbing shelter guarded by cow skulls. He hears something nearby. He says voices are heard here. He sees a face in the structure. Camera, I see, I look like there is nothing. It looks like a face. Two eyes. 
to me, this does look like a face, but it seems to be pareidolia. But later, he hears this through a paranormal device. Then he finds this unnerving collection of butterflies. His paranormal device again relays this strange sound while in the body's presence. And again, this scary whistling noise is heard. The noise grows even more terrifying. I don't think Dennis should stay here any longer. The butterflies would have sent me over the edge, but that last sound is even more unnerving. A YouTube series called The Under Vlogs follows Rachel, Kiva, Tyler, and Derek on their various adventures. This time, they're split up on a competitive scavenger hunt, checklist and all, in a creepy 1908 children's hospital that's been abandoned since 1998. Tyler and Derek are goofing around, but things become tense when they notice a creepy clown head with dripping red eyes that could be a warning of what's about to come their way. They sense something wrong and run away. And that's when, approximately 10 seconds later, this shadowy figure looks out at them, roughly the same height as the clown graffiti in the doorway. So I'm glad they followed their instincts and left fast. This entry is a poltergeist three-parter. The first clip was published by Adam in November of 2021. It shows a cabinet with a mind of its own. One of the drawers opens repeatedly, slamming closed each time. Next, an object falls from above, knocking a picture frame and another object to the floor. But these poltergeists are just getting started. In the second clip, published in October of 2021 by Weird in the Bizarro News, a soda can on the counter moves ever so slightly. It later slides across the counter and twirls all the way down. Then it begins to jump up and down. Another creepy clip shows a computer lab with a couple of objects his chairs acting on their own. They wheel around the lab, twirling, and then really launching across the floor. If these clips weren't caught on camera, would you believe they happened? This video evidence seems to prove that no matter how much we think we know, we do not know everything. Paranormal investigators, specialists, and other field researchers have been trying to explain the Hestalian lights in Norway for decades. These mysterious lights have been observed by residents since the early 80s. Though sightings have decreased in recent years, these lights still randomly appear from time to time and have attracted many followers. As you can see here, they look like small balls of light in broad daylight with no discernible source. Scientists think that this could be from sulfuric gas bubbles mixing with humid air, though they have not been able to prove this. Other researchers believe this could be a UFO hotspot or even a portal to another world. For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? The adventurer, Abdullah Al Anbar, heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a jinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Bismillah. 
<sighs> Much to his surprise, every door opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself, but I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. The door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the jinn tries to keep him here forever. <laughs> Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. January 21st, about 11 p.m. Uh, I'm a couple hundred feet from my house. You can you hear it going off in the background right now? Kind of sounds weird. A brave man hears sinister laughter near his house and rushes outside to investigate. The maniacal laughter is moving closer to where he is standing now. He stands by the street light rather than going any further into the darkness on his own. I was thinking that this could be a simple coyote, but then he says this. If foxes and coyotes have been around here that long, why we wouldn't have heard them before? And all of a sudden, since November, things have been just going crazy around our community. So apparently, foxes and coyotes have been around this area for a long time, and never have they made these kinds of noises before, meaning that this was probably something different. I also really want to know what he meant when he says that strange things have been happening in his community in November. This video was apparently taken on a reservation in Oregon, but if anyone knows which one, then please let me know so that I can do some further research. Anyway, things seem to be quieting down when all of a sudden shots are fired and an unearthly scream fills the night air. If this was not a fox or a coyote, then what could it possibly have been? An unexplained video caught on doorbell cam reveals a mysterious stranger that many think could be a ghost. The strange figure disappears off camera at 3 minutes and 56 seconds, and when he comes back 2 seconds later, there is a bizarre image trailing behind him that I don't think was there before. A lot of people are saying this is a ghost video, because RVA Flip sells a lot of stuff on eBay and has come across his fair share of weird stuff that could be haunted, so maybe one of his possessions had a ghost attack. This is what he looks like, and a closer look at what the ghost looks like. It looks good at first, but I find it strange how both he and the ghost he saw seem to look similar and are about the same size. I'm wondering if this is a real ghost video like he says, or if he made a fake ghost video using himself as the subject. Look at the two figures and tell me what you see. Is this a ghost sighting, or is there no possible way? A mysterious creature sighting was caught on camera at the edge of the woods in Forest Lake, Minnesota by a woman named Stephanie Gibbons. Based on her description of it, this thing, which she says was a creature known only as the Dog Man, is undoubtedly one of the scariest things in the woods she's ever encountered before. Stephanie says the Dog Man sighting occurred around 7.30pm. 
She describes the Dogman creature as having long arms and a scruffy mane. It's too small to be a bear. And Stephanie says cougars don't live back here, so it's not that. According to her, the demon creature hardly notices them. Too busy watching deer across the field. She never shows the deer, so that part of her story can't be verified. The Dogman stays still until 12 seconds when her daughter makes a noise. Stephanie says this is the moment when the dog man looks over. It's ear flick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Oh, it just oh, legs and perked its ears up. What the f? They accidentally zoom out so I don't see it move. Other people have said they can see it sniff the air and lick its nose. And I wanted to know if you can see any of those things happening here. Because to be honest, I don't. She also posted a photograph to prove that this is a humanoid creature of some sort. It looks like it could be a person crouching down wearing a wolf mask at first, until you take a closer look. On top of his head are two horns and what looks like leathery wings wrapped around a bat-like body. Stephanie says the Dogman sighting is one of the many reported in the area, but this is the only one that she herself has seen. Tell me if you believe her. Reet's boy records what he thinks is a rare creature sighting. And while I think he might be right, I would like your help to confirm. Some of the dogs in his neighborhood are going crazy, so he zooms in on where they're barking and just barely makes out this figure possibly watching from afar. <laughs> At 38 seconds, you get a much better look when he zooms in. Bro, do you see? It's hard to tell for sure, but I think something is definitely there. And it kind of looks like the upper half of a shadow person. Fear suddenly overcomes Reet's boy, and he runs back inside before it gets any closer. Definitely the smart choice. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.